this is the palatal root of seven. See the bone loss here. We have good bone on the palatal side, but here, so the implant may not be stable because it needs 360 degree bone. Okay, we will see eight now. It is not that much, it is a conical root. It is a conical root, it is not useful. Okay. So, 6, 7, 8, 6, we have got good bone. We can place a good uh, plant on over the palatal bone area and we can stop it. There is no need to it's go till the right. So that notch, clinically this notch is the key landmark. So our finger should place on that notch? Yes, 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 yes. Just one centimeter, you should imagine. Just above this line. is our uh, target zone. Okay. Okay. So first final is the starting point. Second is the distal angulation. How much is the distal angulation? The more vertical, the more broader. The more horizon. Many pterygoids, if you see in implant groups or some, the implant will be like this. It may not be a pterygoid, maybe into the tuberosity or into the sinus. Very rarely it goes into here. Okay, two. So, if you want to understand pterygoid, what will go wrong if you know, you will do the correct technique. The more vertical, you will enter the sinus. The more horizontal, you will enter this non fusion zone. Find the correct. This fusion zone, this dimension varies. For some patients, the fusion zone is very long. For some patients, the fusion zone is very less. So this determines the uh, easy case or difficult case. Okay. So one is the starting point. The second one is the how much is the distal angulation. Third point is that. If you incorporate the third point, target is over. Okay. For that, you need to see another dimension. This is maxilla cross section. Okay. The target is here. No, the target is not here. Okay. So. It, you start the drilling, that angulation, no. you are starting this angulation, but what about, it should go, it should go this side or this side or this side. So Same. this angulation we have to find this. If you go straight, you will enter the pterygoid, we think like that, but it's not like that. Pterygoid is not here, okay, where is pterygoid? Pterygoid is here. Target is slightly towards the middle, beyond the tuberosity. Like yes. So beyond the tuberosity, if you go straight, you will hit the lateral pterygoid plate. So our aim is the medial pterygoid plate. So it has got two pterygoid plates. So you, when you are starting from here, you have to start slightly towards the midline or towards the palatal. Come again, sir. Yeah. Okay. So this is the maxilla. Okay, this is tuberosity. You are seeing from this direction. Okay, okay. The tuberosity junction is the pterygoid junction is slightly. It is not following this curve. It is slightly towards this. So when you start the drilling, if you go straight away distally, 
PS in no block. Hmm. You are going inside, no? Yes. Towards the middle. See, if you follow the PS in no block here, uh, that's hmm. okay. PS in no block distally towards midline, some 45 degrees something, right? The same way. So you have to drill slightly towards the pallet. You will reach this one. Okay. You show in that 3D thing. Yes, in the model we will show. Okay. Now we are coming towards the yes, apical region, the apex of the teeth. Right? Means as you can all everything. See the shape. Okay. Now, okay. so this is the tuberosity and this is the pterygoid bone. They fused here actually. The non fusion zone I could be able to see. Okay, this is the fusion zone. This is the sinus. Or this is the palate. So, what I was telling is this junction is not here. It is. Yeah, this is not here. This is towards the midline. So, if you you will be starting the drilling here. If you drill here, you will reach the lateral trajectory. If you start here, if you straight away drill, you will reach the lateral trajectory. So, you have to drill slightly towards the middle. Yesterday, patient, it was slightly towards the lateral trajectory. You will see now. You can see much more. So, this is the tuberous scale level. Okay. You can see the non fusion zone here. The tuberosity is here, the pterygoid is here, but they are not fused. But this side is not fused, fusion is happening. Now they start fusing, right? If you see this junction is slightly towards the midline, not lateral. This is the lateral pterygoid plate, this is the middle pterygoid plate. Our aim is to here, this junction, either this fossa or this area. Both are our target. Either within this fossa, mm -hmm. do not go till this lateral terrier. Now, if you see our implant is coming, this is the right side. Right side is coming correctly, but here, if you see, it is more towards lateral. Slowly, we are going upper. If you see, it is coming towards the target is nicely, but here, slightly deviated to the left side. Okay. So, if you see, it is. This is perfectly coming till toward the junction, right? But here it is missed to the junction, it is just entering the lateral pterygoid plate. So, lateral pterygoid plate, if it is too much perforating at all, fish will have difficulty in mouth opening for some time because the lateral pterygoid muscle is attached. Just follow this question. Fish will have mouth opening difficulty in this place. So, sometimes my uh, when we give PSA now block, only sometimes lacking muscle, the patient will have block. Hematoma, yes. Is that it? Oh, no, no, no. We are staying inside the bone now. PSA now block is entirely in the soft tissue area. Okay. So the complication won't happen. Yeah. So this is the maxilla. You can see the non fusion zone, no? In black line here. Mm. If you see, the fusion zone is measured not only in height. Buccolingually, fusion zone is this and this area. Uh, sorry, non fusion zone. This is the fusion zone, right? Yeah, so this is not fusion zone. <coughs> so, this V shaped clavicular yes, yes, uh, depression yes, yes. is the non fusion zone. This is tuberosity. Huh. This is pterygoid. This is non fusion zone. Now they are going to fuse. No, they fuse. Fused. They have not fused. Okay. okay. See the width here. So, in axial section, you have to see the width. The more the width is, the more freedom you have. The less width is there. Then and yesterday you asked, no, how to exactly place the implant here, that kind of situation. Uh, width is meaning buccolingual. Yeah, buccolingual. Okay, see, see the lateral pterygoid plate very thin and this is the anatomical variations. Okay, so this is the fusion though. Okay, if you see the implant, the pterygoid implant is coming correctly or this junction, but here we didn't place pterygoid I guess, right? We didn't place it. And show the mistakes. You see here in this patient the pterygoid is very challenging. So you can start pterygoid is happening. This is anatomical variation. Here it is quite wide now. Now they start fusing. See the machine. It will be around 8 to 11. 
Now see the sign is not all coming, right? You see there was no sign. Now sign is coming. See how much bone is thin here. I do the what angulation you mean, like the four of us towards median and the other one angulation. See if you see this terrier, this terrier, what mistake is happening? Ah, okay, okay, okay. It is more it's down, downward. More downward. Okay. Here it is somewhat forty eighty degree. Correct. You will see the cross section. Okay. If you see the implant is not going straight, it is tilted easily. Sorry, medial, medial. Okay. Even if, see terrier implant, immediately you cannot so understand. So you are going distally like this, and like medially this. also. At the same injection, the same. Same kind of PSC blocks. Yeah. So we have to like follow the line like this. Let me say uh, upwards, uh, backwards, and each side only follow. If you insert it, then we just kind of we place it. See, all the moment you are not going separately. At the same moment you are going, you are going a uh, distally upward and medial. Ore, you know, ore shorter, and a medial. But you have to follow all the categories. That is what it means. Uh, Yes, only am I. See, I will tell what is the mistake. So, number and the movement of uh, pilot form, mode I yes, yes, is the yes, yes. See, this implant should be no done like this. It is more. So, what we did is we removed and we tried redoing and we removed them to redo. I will show some other simple way. So in pilot cases, like that, they should not do it. So only just find some bone in front of the tail, right? Or in the primal region and try to give a cavity. Though if either the size of the normal shorter, sir, sir, not in the region, sir. I'm very well able to reach to you. So if we number four, we go towards the medial. Correct answer. Then I know the path correct. Okay. Now model is correct. So you remove that other. Other one is very good. You remove it. Yes. If it was, it was more lower. It is not exactly in the terrier. It is not that low. The non-fusion zone. Okay. But it is a very small area, you know, the bone was smashed up, we couldn't able to place anything. So patient is cutting opening mouth in the implant. If the implant is there, then we should have opening. Yeah, there are many problems. Unless you go and interface with the lateral terrier muscle and all of that. Even if it happens, only for one moment, 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 only for one moment. Sassi, no Sassi, come to the school. Almost 45 degrees is the correct one. Here it is less than 45, it is almost vertical kind of thing. Here we started more easily, but here we started more distally. So the more you distally you go, the more vertical it becomes. The more easily you come, the more... So this should have engaged here. This is correct one. Because there is a lot of signs here, we wanted to avoid it. Sir, I'm going to be in the room. Yes. And the more signs is in the room. You can see the cross section. So it is not like this. It is not like this. It is not like this. So actually, this part is the tuberosity. This part is the pterygoid. They are fused. Okay, this part is the tuberosity, this part is the pterygate. This is left pterygate, this is middle pterygate. So this is with the screw tend uh, all of six. We start the drilling here, and if you go straight, you will enter the lateral pterygate. So you have to, okay, medial. And where you are starting, from here or from here. The more easily you are starting, the more analytic becomes. The more distally you are going, the more vertically it becomes. Okay. So, so this is the notch. 
7 to 8 mm in front of the notch start ok just above the notch is our target area ok start here and do the drilling like this so from here it is 45 degree from here it is towards midline it is not like this I did the mistake now I am going like this if you do like this it will go out yes the, if you, if you saw the implant it was touching the radial target that means the mistake is Yes, yes, yes. See, this is the patient ah, starting okay. here and going towards the middle. What, uh, what mistake I did is I went like this. Okay. So it was such a mistake. Say, now you can find them go to the middle. Now, towards the middle. Yes, yes, yes. This is the target area. Is this part? The target area is this. Anyone here? Or even this one? Yeah, the field down, the notch, the field down, 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 the yeah, I'll try to upper and lame resistant drop. Drop. Resistant and drop. Sir, you go. Like my four finger. Like my four finger. Then I'll take it like this here, right? This is how I have to hold it. Or with the yeah. Hold it like this and take it like this. And then I should this insertion. So, anyway, this is the insertion. 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 This is the from here, this is an Okay. From this part, it is not like this, it is like this. It is not like this, it is like this. Okay, okay. Okay, the angle is not like this. It is not like this. Sir, we have to open uh, those flaps flap. But it is completely healed area, no need to open the flap. Because opening the flap on that region, it's quite uh, yeah, difficult. Yeah. No need actually. Yeah. So, this is a notch. Yes. Keep it like this. Okay, this is the patient. I am starting now. So, put some weight ammo in front of the notch. Okay. So, if you go like this, you will enter the sinus. Okay. If you go like this, I will come out. So, somewhat decent compromise between 40 degrees. But if I go drill like this, I will come out in this little area. Okay, so I'm just like it. Instead of like this, I'm just like this. So during drilling, you can observe today if possible.